a hippopotamus. A, hi a hippopotamus. Beginning and the end. A hippopotamus. <laughs> Good job, the lost village. Good job. The Lost Village is certainly an oddly enjoyable show because, in a way, its premise made me get back into anime. And of course, I need to be watching anime. What else would I be doing? Work? <laughs> That's ridiculous. University? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's university. But me, being busy aside, I just haven't felt the motivation to watch any anime in the last two months, two months or so, almost three, I think. Exceptions being Garzy's Wing at Colossal Con, which I watched with friends and we had a good laugh, and uh, Ajin Demi Human, and uh, I don't really count that one. So at this point, you're thinking, OM Jesus, this show got this weeb fag to watch anime again? What's the show about? Well, I'll tell you. In short, the show is about a mysterious village that doesn't legally exist. It's said that people who search for it go missing, but a small bus of people believe they've created a new society there where one could start over. So a bus full of people our characters, join this group using their online profiles as their new names and set out to find their new lives in this village that has been dubbed Nanaki Village. Now you may be wondering, wouldn't having a bus full of characters looking for new lives result in a lot of these characters having emotional baggage and such? And you'd be right, that is a big part of this show. Character backstory, I mean. This acts as a double-edged sword for the show because there's a large cast of characters, and not only is their backstory important to the horror aspect of this show, but it also helps give more characters a bit more depth due to some quirky characters having their own quirky personalities and having these have, using these backstories as a means of explaining how they got these quirky personalities. The problem is, so much time is spent on flashbacks in this show to explain to you why what you and the characters at hand are seeing is a big deal. Why what they're seeing and what you're seeing is important. But this repetition weighs down on you. And it stops being interesting or scary. And the scares, man. <laughs> The Lost Village, as the title implies, is called Nanaki Village, as I so aptly told you in the beginning. It's a lot like Silent Hill 2.0 in a way, but I don't really want to... I don't really think it's as scary as Silent Hill. Not even close. I'm not even going to kid you. It's not even close to being as scary as Silent Hill. But this setting starts out fairly mysteriously, and up until the end... It holds on to a fair amount of secrecy, which helps keep its suspense. Uh, characters with secrets, characters that go missing, secrets of the village, and so on. While initially the secrecy helps the show, especially because it does a good job building these grand reveals up and helps the suspense and looks good while doing it, it's just too bad that the reveals and twists of the show could never be... Well, done quite nearly as well as the build-up to them. The twists aren't as interesting as what was going on before the twist, what was making you wonder, what is the twist? 
So that's uh, sort of another double-edged sword for this show. At least the show is helped by having a likable protagonist. Yeah, you could argue that he's a quote-unquote boring or typical protagonist, but it helps to have someone we like when everyone else is so... Also, the animation is nice, but the real praise I have for the animation is actually the density of the fog in this anime. The fog really helps keep the mystery alive, helps build the suspense that I mentioned. I also don't want to spoil too much, but... Let's say uh, certain character illusions have some nice designs and are also animated well. Unfortunately, the rest of the show altogether isn't too interesting. Character designs are okay, um, diverse enough to where all the important ones you can definitely pick out right away, but you're going to look at some people over the course of the show and just kind of forget who they were. Maybe most of these people you're definitely not going to remember, remember most of their names, but... Uh, other than that, the show's animation is kind of bland, apart from the fog dis density and the uh, character illusions, as I will call them, uh, to keep um, keep from revealing spoilers. We're also animated quite nicely. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for the soundtrack. It's it's just kind of boring, to be quite frank. Even the opening and ending songs, <laughs> eh, but. There are moments when characters sing that come off as creepy, and I did like that. That That's not necessarily the soundtrack itself, but eh, they're singing, so that's also attributed to the voice acting. And uh, that being said, the voice acting isn't bad either, but that's to be expected from the Japanese. And the show is licensed by Co Pony Canyon U Pony Cannon, bleh, USA. So, we probably won't get an English dub. I do believe they've uh, licensed Yuki Yuna is a hero, and I think that got a dub, but I don't think anything else they've really licensed or touched got dubs. So, don't expect one. You, you're going to have the Japanese. You'll be stuck with the Japanese. But, like I said, the Japanese isn't bad. Uh, that's to be expected, though. At the end of the day, though... The Lost Village is a show that's better when it's being mysterious. Anything the show shows you is never as interesting as what it doesn't. And uh, that's part of the problem that comes with this show, if you ask me. Hell, what it does show you actually ends up being funny sometimes and not really scary. You just kind of laugh at it, which kind of breaks the suspense and immersion that the show did so well building up. But... It's enjoyable in a different aspect. I still count it as a flaw, but in a weird way, it's still enjoyable. So, not sure if that was uh, the point. Maybe it was supposed to be funny. It would certainly make sense with that joke of an ending <laughs> oh, that I um, kind of hinted at the uh, opening section of this video. The show's a fun one-time watch, but not much more than that. All I know is this wasn't the Silent 2.0 that I was hoping it would be. This just really visceral and creepy anime. Uh, <laughs> which I guess should have been expected because inherently it's just so anime. From from having Sundere's to, you know, the typical brown-haired boring protagonist who's likable. He has an interesting backstory, but most of the characters do. You have a cat girl. It's just... just so many tropes, and of course that's going to break this illusion, this grand illusion of this somehow seeming like Nanaki Village is going to be like a Silent Hill 2.0. Uh, but there's still mystery here, and uh, it's enjoyable, as I said, as a one-time watch. I present the show with a 5.7 out of 10. Now that score seems low! And yes, that is a practically below average score for me. For me, average on the dot is 5.5. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's barely average. Um, but now that score seems low, like I said, but I still recommend you watch this show. It's a weirdly interesting and funny horror show. Its premise got me back into anime, and I still ended up enjoy enjoying it and practically watching it overnight and it ends how it starts and if you've already seen the lost village and want to see something similar i direct you towards ghost hound and a much scarier more interesting show which kind of shares a similar problem if you ask me and that it was better when it was building the suspense 
than when it finally started revealing its secrets, and that is Shiki. The only problem is, even after it loses that initial suspense from the buildup, even after the twists that you saw coming from a mile, a million miles away, Shiki still ended up being a much more entertaining watch and still ended up being more emotionally investing, despite having an even bigger cast of characters than this show. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. I, tell me if this review incentivized you to watch or not watch The Lost Village, or tell me if you've already seen it and what you thought of it. I am Josh, and I will see you on the next Quest for Anime. ついていない日ここ